Hi guys, welcome. I'm Freddy from Freddy Makes a Movie and I'm here today to talk about something really important. Something in fact people say is impossible. Well, I am here to tell you that it's not only possible, but it looks fantastic. Yes, 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 I'm talking today about the Blackmagic 6K Pro in combination with the DCO CineLens 20-55 and the DJI RS2. Alright, so here's how I build the gimbal. I'm gonna be using the tilted cage for the 6K Pro. You can use the small rig if you want to, but I do like the Arca quick release plate built into the cage a little bit better. And also the tactical grade looks awesome. It looks like Batman's camera, look at that. Now, not mandatory, but definitely recommended is this guy, the Raven Eye. Just being able to use your iPhone or iPad as an external monitor is just so convenient. It's here to stay. Next I'm going to take care of the follow focus system that goes on the top and I'm going to be using the Arca plate that comes with the Pro Combo. Just flip it upside down, screw it properly and then just put the motor on top. These are desperate times that require desperate measures and you know what, it kind of works. Oh that's right, we're not going to be on 55mm, I'm going to be needing the leather strap. This is going to help us enabling the super smooth motion so that you kind of reduce some of the jitter that you get when you have a longer focal length. So this is kind of necessary. It's just weird to use the leather strap after all these clicks and buttons that you use on the gimbal. But you know what? Again, it works. Counterweights, they are essential for this to work. I am using a total of 600 grams. 200 included in a counterweight kit, 400 purchased separately but they work extremely well. Make sure 300 are on the top and 300 are on the bottom so that you don't get the counterweights in the way. Speaking of weight, I'm also using an SSD for weight purpose, not recording. And after mounting that, all we have left to do is just the cabling system. The cabling system, the cabling system. Well, okay, let's start with the first cable, the mini HDMI to HDMI. There, easy and simple. So we're connecting the mini HDMI from the Ravenite to the Blackmagic 6K Pro, followed by the USB-C connection. We're gonna connect that to the top port of the DJI RS2 so that we can send the camera controls to the DJI gimbal. Next, we want to connect the Raven Eye to the gimbal as well for power purpose. And then last but not least, we want to connect the motor for the follow focus system all the way to the middle port. All we have left to do is make sure that the gimbal is properly balanced. And then once you have that done, all you have to do is just fire up the gimbal and start shooting. It's really that simple. If you have found this guide useful in any way and you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, love, do anything you want. It's all helpful. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.